Greetings. This is Dyslexi from the Arma Community Group, Shack Tactical. In cooperation with Bohemian Interactive, I'm creating a series of videos to explain some of the basics of Arma 3. In this video, we'll be covering a number of tips about how to be an effective team player in multiplayer. The multiplayer side of Arma 3 is a very diverse aspect of the game, and the people you play with, or the servers you play on, can span a broad spectrum of styles, from very casual to military strict, and all manner of mission types and scales. The guidelines we'll discuss here are oriented towards the core aspects of multiplayer infantry combat, and should be applicable to a large percentage of the situations you find yourself in. We'll break this down in the tried and true fashion of communicating, moving, and shooting. Knowing when, how, and what to say is often one of the most fundamental multiplayer skills for effective teamwork and coordination to occur. The cornerstone of communicating in Arma is that of being concise and clear with what you say. Sometimes combat is extremely fast paced and a lot may need to be said in a short period of time by many different people. Keeping your messages short and to the point, thinking about what you're going to say before you say it, really helps your team to respond to threats more quickly and carry out orders more effectively. When working with other players, a contact report is a means by which anyone can alert teammates that they've spotted or are taking fire from the enemy. In my community, our contact reports are pretty standardized in format and can be broken down into four basic steps. Alert, Orient, Describe, Expound. In the alert, you simply shout, CONTACT! This warns everyone of danger and lets them know that you're about to tell them more about that danger. Next, you provide the orientation. Is the enemy to your front? Are they close? Relative directions like front, left, and right, and relative distances, close, medium, and far, are the simplest ways to give this information. If time permits, be more precise. Use your compass to get an exact bearing and estimate the range in hundreds of meters. After orienting, describe the threat. What was it? Infantry? Armor? Be as specific as necessary, but don't overdo it. Remember your brevity. Finally, expound as needed. If you gave a hasty initial report, now might be the time to flesh it out with further details, including range if you skipped that step earlier. If the target's hard to see, this is where you could talk people onto it with more descriptive guidance. That might sound pretty strict, but countless hours of playing have proven this to be the simplest, most effective means of communication. Aside from simply calling out enemy threats, another key aspect of communication with your teammates is to let them know what you're seeing, what you're doing, and anything that can help the team. Armor has big dynamic engagements and it's really useful to keep your team informed about how the situation is developing. If you're moving, let your team know. If you see the enemy maneuvering to a different position, call it out. When you're running low on ammo, make sure people know it. If you're throwing a grenade, give a warning. Frag out is a typical call. If a grenade is thrown at you or your friends, shout grenade and take cover. Movement with other players requires an understanding of a few basic principles that, when adhered to, will smooth things out and increase the overall effectiveness of your group. For starters, always try to work in pairs at the very least. The person you're paired with is known as your combat buddy. They'll move with you, fight with you, and look out for you if you get injured. Even if you have a fire team of four or six players, you always ensure that each person has at least one buddy working with them. When moving, avoid crossing lines of fire. It's easy to be shot by a friendly when you suddenly run out in front of them without warning. Be conscious about where you stop and aim. You should do so in a manner that makes it possible for teammates to safely pass behind you. If you need to pass in front of someone's muzzle, say so in voice and get a confirmation from them before you do. Always maintain interval with other players. Common sense dictates that bunching up results in people being killed. Staying spread out reduces the effectiveness of enemy fire, explosives, and mines. If you see teammates bunching up, call a reminder to them to spread out. Players commonly bunch up when checking or looting bodies, tending to wounded, or when in urban or otherwise dense areas. Be extra vigilant in those situations. As to urban areas, when you're clearing courtyards, buildings, or other structures, remember to enter and peel to the opposite side of where the prior person went. A good tip to remember is that if your buddy goes in and turns left, follow him and turn right to cover that side of the interior. Knowing how to pie a door or other opening can help in safely moving through closely confined areas. This is simply the act of moving around such that you reveal a slice of an area at a time. If you do this correctly, you'll know much of what lies on the other side of a doorway or similar, and can concentrate primarily on the things you couldn't see via your pieing. Regardless of what your team is doing, 
Continually assess what you can do that will help the most. Check where everyone's covering, and if a sector is not covered, take it upon yourself to fill in the gap. Your teammates will thank you later. If a friendly is killed and had a machine gun or anti-tank weapon, something special, make sure your team doesn't leave the area without recovering it. You never know when you might need the extra firepower. You should always attempt to make the most of a situation before firing. Often this means passing information about the enemy to your teammates so that everyone can get aimed in and positioned before the engagement starts. But there will be times where the enemy will show up unexpectedly at close range or otherwise in a fashion that requires instant action. Remember your contact reports and brevity, but also remember that the act of you firing rapidly is an unspoken contact report all of its own. While you're shooting, continually assess the situation. Watch for enemy movements, communicate them to your friends, and scan your surroundings, even behind you, to ensure that nothing sneaks up on you or surprises you. Aim for the center of the visible mass of whatever you're shooting at, and shoot it until you know it's down. When a fight seems to be over, take your time assessing that. Use stance suggests to peek up, clear a slice of the terrain, peek up higher, and repeat until you've seen all you can see. Only then should you move out. During your engagements, it's really important to maintain a high degree of situational awareness with respect to the disposition of friendly forces, or, in some cases, non-combatants. Arma isn't really the kind of game where you shoot first and ask questions later. Know where your friends are, be familiar with your uniforms and those of the enemy, and when in doubt, take more time to identify a target before engaging it. Always gain positive identification on the enemy before engaging. You don't want to be the guy who engages friendlies through some bushes because you weren't aware that a friendly fire team would change location while you were combat daydreaming. And that wraps up this community guide video. As with everything, practice is the key to developing good teamwork, communication, and shooting skills. You'll quickly find that those who can work together effectively will outsmart and outperform their opponents. Twitch skill only takes you so far. When you're faced off against an opposing team full of people who are constantly moving, shooting, and communicating together, you'll need more than reflexes to prevail. Good luck out there, and good hunting. For more community guide videos, be sure to subscribe to the official Arma 3 YouTube channel. For other Arma 3 updates, keep track of the official website, Facebook, and Twitter pages. If you'd like more in-depth tutorial and large-scale multiplayer gameplay of Arma 3 and the previous Arma games, I'd also recommend you check out my personal channel here. This is Dyslexi, and I'll see you on Stratus.